In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Microsoft Excel. This is the Microsoft Excel environment. Recall that the Excel, the Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet package. It's a spreadsheet package. So this is one of the Microsoft Excel, one of the spreadsheet package that we have. So in today's video, we want to look at the environment of this Microsoft Excel. So here we have the quick access toolbar the quick access toolbar the quick access toolbar is being customized you customize it for uh, the the tabs you use often or whatever you use often you can customize it here so that you can get it easily so to customize or add more access more toolbar to the quick access toolbar all you need to do is to come up here and click on this arrow if you click on this arrow, you will notice that the active quick the, the active toolbar here are open, save, undo, redo. So you can decide to add new. You can decide to add spelling. You can decide to add email. Now let's add email to our quick access toolbar. So I'll click on email to activate. You notice this is the email tool now. You can see that. So we have save. We have undo we have redo we have um, open and we have the email so if you want to remove anyone the same thing you go to this drop down arrow and remove any one of your choice from the marked ones so this is your quick access toolbar so let's remove the email um, i want to check the email you see it's no longer here so the next one is this book one excel this particular place is called the title bar the title bar this is where the name of your workbook appears you can see this is book one so whenever you save your work the name of the work will appear at this particular place okay so this is the title bar the title of your workbook appears here now these are some other ribbons that you can sign into microsoft you can you can choose your ribbon display options whether you want it to be displayed here show tab show ribbon tabs only or you want to hide the ribbon or you want to show tabs only you want to show tabs and command this is where you can arrange that so this particular minus is for minimizing your work let's assume you want to minimize this microsoft excel workbook you click on this and it minimizes and goes to your tax bar of your desktop or your laptop so if you can you can maximize it by, by coming to this particular tax bar and clicking on the excel icon once you do that it's going to maximize back this is used for to to restore that and to what maximize so when once i click on restore that it's going to minimize it's going to reduce the the the, the width and height of your workbook so you can go to the same place and maximize it to full page so you can use this to click your microsoft excel once i click on it the excel window will the excel workbook will disappear so here, the file, the home, the insert page layout, formulas, data, review, view, help, and so on are all called the tabs. The tabs. Each of these tabs has its own commands. Now, the file, this is the file tab. The home has its own command. These are the commands of the home tab. All these are the commands of the home tab. The insert, in the insert back tab has its own commands. These are the commands. Then the page layout has its own commands. The formulas has its own commands. So each of them has their own commands. The review, view, help all have their own commands. Now, let's assume you don't want these commands to be displayed. All you need to do is to come over here come to the ribbon display options and click on show tabs only once you click on show tabs only you are going to be seeing only the file home and so insert and so on and so forth the tabs only you're not going to be seeing this command so let's click on it to show you you can see that you will be seeing only the file home insert page layout so in case in your system or your microsoft excel the commands are not being displayed all you need to do is to come to, over to this ribbon and 
click on show tabs and commands once you click on show tabs and command the tabs and the command will also be displayed you can see that the tabs and the commands will also be well displayed let's assume you don't want all this to be shown you come over here you click on auto hide ribbon once you click on it it hides the word ribbon you won't see any ribbon there again you won't see the tab you won't see the commands but if you want to get it back you click on this again and you click on show tabs and commands now this particular arrow is used to bring out the dialog box for each of these word commands to bring a dialog box you can click on this arrow it brings out a dialog box for you where you can also do your activities so if you click on this also you get its own bus you can see that so i have to close this now i don't need it okay so let's close this one first okay okay i'll close this so any of them you click bring rings out its own dialog box okay all right so you can use that also so this also is the name box the name box you can see that the name box the name box displays the name of the active cell when i say active cell i mean the cell you are working on let's say you have a you have something like this or you have something like this so uh, now the active cell is the cell that is being highlighted with um a, a rectangular shape or is being highlighted and has a blinking cursor. Now, if I click on this eight, you will notice that the name box will change to what G3. It is being named as column row. Now, what do I mean by column row? These alphabets A, B, C, D, and so on and so forth are your columns, the vertical are your columns, while these are your rows these are your rows the numbers are your rows one two wherever it stops wherever it ends are called the rows so you have columns you have rows so the names have been displayed column row wise column row wise so you have the active cell this is the active cell you have g3 because it's in column g row three if i click on nine now you see that the name box changes to what h3 that is column h and row three you get the point now that's good so this is the function if you want to insert any function you come to this place and you click on this you see different functions in excel so this is also the name the formula bar sorry once you're typing anything here it's been displayed at that particular bar this particular place let's say i type jk or i type pew class you see it's going to be displayed there you can see that so this is the formula bar uh so on so i've shown you the column and the row so again this is your vertical scroll bar okay this is your vertical scroll bar you can see that it takes your work up and down you can scroll now we don't many people don't know where this particular excel uh, the number of rows in this excel for you to know that watch my next video i'm going to tell you the number of rows and columns that the excel work worksheet has now this is the work environment or we can say the worksheet environment okay is the worksheet environment now the workbook is actually your excel each of the excel uh, each of the excel document that you open is called the workbook just like a notebook and a sheet of paper so then inside the workbook you have the sheet you can see this, this is sheet one <coughs> you have sheet one now now you can have more than in a notebook for example you have plenty leaves in a notebook which is plenty sheet in a notebook the same thing applies to this workbook in a workbook you have many worksheets so this is sheet one you can decide to add extra sheet in this workbook so i have I click on this plus sign to add a new sheet you can see that once i click on it i'm going to have a new sheet so this is sheet one so you click on this 
you have sheet two. You can see that as many sheets as you uh, as possible. So you can keep on clicking on it and you have different sheets, just like saying different pages. So this is this is it. So you have workbook and you have work worksheet. Now over here you can zoom in and zoom out. I can decide to zoom in. Okay, I can decide to zoom out. With the minus sign, I can decide to what? Zoom out. You can zoom in and you can what? Zoom out. So this is basically, this is basically the Microsoft Excel environment. So this is the Microsoft Excel environment. You can decide to highlight the whole worksheet by clicking on this arrow. Once you click on it, the whole worksheet is being what? Selected. And again, you can decide. Okay. You can decide to select any of them. So this is called the range. When you talk about range, the range is a combination of more than one cell. So this is a range. You can see that it's a range. This is a range of cells. Is a combination of more than one cells. That is a range. Okay. So with this, I believe you've understood the work environment of the Microsoft Excel. So in the next video, we'll talk about how to the number of rows in a Microsoft Excel, how to hide the sheets, how to give it color, how to name sheets, and so on and so forth. So if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to this channel so that you will be getting updates and also click the bell notification button that you will be getting updates about Microsoft Excel. Get new things, ask questions. If you have any question concerning Microsoft Excel or you have a particular video you want us to talk about on this Microsoft Excel and I will be willing to discuss that with you. So on that note, thanks for watching and do have a nice day.